Hi, recently my dog Roxy was diagnosed with diabetes and for primarily financial reasons we had to learn how to do the curves at home and also because she gets really stressed out whenever she goes to the vet so that tends to make the curves less accurate. So um, through trials and tribulations I had to learn how to do the curves on her and she was very difficult to get blood from so generally you can get it from their ear vein, their inner or outer lip, their paw pads or if they have calluses on their elbows um, but you have to figure that out for yourself whatever works for best for you and your dog. In this case her front arm works best that's where the hospital took blood and so I shaved the area her front leg where I'm gonna prick her for the blood, blood sample. And what I use generally is the Alpha Track. It is uh, specifically made for dogs and cats for their genetic makeup, and so it's supposed to be more accurate than the human meters. Um, you can get the test strips on Amazon. Usually you get 50 for about 50, $55 um, if you shop around. And on the alpha track, the test strips, there's actually, if the first try doesn't take the reading, then you can use the other side if you get the blood sample in uh, 60 seconds or less. So you actually have two chances to get the reading. And it also uses minimal blood. So um, I tend to rely mostly on the alpha track. For the Lancet device, you can use any Lancet. It doesn't have to be specifically for the Alpha Track. So, whatever you can find that's the cheapest, you just need something to prick the area you're going to get the blood supply from. Um, I also use a baby sock filled with rice that I put in the microwave for 25 seconds. And I use this to rub on the area that I'm going to prick. And this usually helps get the blood supply flowing. Also, when I go to the hospital and I uh, get blood withdrawn, they use a tourniquet, so I use a tourniquet as well. It's just a stretchy piece of elastic. Um, some people will choose to use the human meters. In this case, I'm using True Result. And these test strips you can get at your local pharmacy, generally for under $20. But from what I've read and experienced myself, they tend to be less accurate and the readings between the two generally are between 50 points and higher different. So I use the alpha track. Um, on Roxy, what I do when I get her test or when I'm trying to test her, I lay her on her back. And when I first did this, I had to use a muzzle because she would bite me. But we just, through trials and tribulations, we found our way. So I take the tourniquet and I tie it around her arm, just like they would when you go to the hospital yourself. So I tie it on her arm. And this is already warmed up been in the microwave for 25 seconds. It's not going to burn her. I test it on my own arm first. I rub the area that I'm going to get the blood from. So massage it for, I don't know, about 20 seconds or so. And then I take the Lancet device. I prick. I hold it for a second. Then I remove it. I take the strip, push it all the way in, and get the sample. And if you go to my second video, I'll actually go through the process, but I've already pricked her a couple times. I don't want to do it again. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helps you and your diabetic puppy.